So a $105 payment stopped a client of mine from being able to get $25,000. That's why today we're going to talk about how you can make sure you're getting money for your business without unnecessary declines and inquiries. And we're going to talk about who this lender was and what type of lenders to avoid in order to make sure you don't have the same situation. So getting straight into it, this particular client, luckily we were able to get him about $30,000 in funding before this happened. But in the middle of getting some more accounts for him, he ended up getting this account that ended up causing this problem. When it was time for us to apply for the next few banks that he needed and they saw this particular lender on his bank statements, it immediately threw a monkey wrench in everything and stopped him from being able to get some funding. So keep in mind, I said this was on his bank statement, so this did not report to his personal credit nor his business credit profile. So the company I'm talking about is Forward Financial and basically they are a merchant cash advance lender and they have a daily payment that you pay to them when you get funds from them so most people might be thinking okay this isn't reporting to my business credit profile or my personal so this won't actually cause a problem however when a new lender does actually verify some of your income and they ask for those bank statements they would see a daily payment like this coming from this type of lender and as I mentioned, we had a pretty much guaranteed 25000 coming from the next lender. But because of just the presence of that payment and that merchant cash advance lender being connected to his business, the client was unable to get those funds. And these are some of the things that most people aren't thinking about when they're out there applying for funds for their business. And they end up shooting themselves in the foot and costing themselves more additional money. Now, luckily, we knew what to do for him and we were able to continue going down the path of getting him some more funds for his business so I want you guys to be aware of this so that you can make better decisions while you're out there trying to get funding for your business and this is also why I pay is to get help from a professional who's already helped other business owners obtain hundreds of thousands of dollars for their business and that is already mindful of the pitfalls that you can fall in so that you don't make those mistakes and now if you want help with getting funding for your business anywhere from 50 hundred thousand at zero percent interest without having to show proof of income then make sure to set up a call with me down below so that I can take a look at your situation and see how I can help you secure those funds and I'll only take you on as a client if I know I'm guaranteed to get you some money for your business but anyway let's talk about some more of those lenders that are out there that you want to be wary of having a connection with because it can cause you a denial a wasted inquiry and ultimately leave you without getting any funds when it's time to actually apply to those bigger better banks that are more than likely going to give you more money so one of them that we're going to talk about is synchrony bank now synchrony bank is a bank that of course they have credit cards and stuff like that but they also provide credit cards for a lot of the retailers that are out there let's say you go to Best Buy you apply for a Best Buy credit card a lot of times they are going to have a, a bank associated with the credit card because Best Buy doesn't have their own you know bank in which they operate and issue credit cards and bank accounts so they partner with a bank and Synchrony Bank partners with a lot of retailers in order to give them a credit card that they can issue to their customers customers to of course you know get more sales and usually you would know that you're seeing this happen if of course you ask the retailer what bank do they use for their credit card or when you look at the application a lot of times you'll see it and also on your credit report if you see you know Victoria's Secret Best Buy or whatever the retailer is on your credit report you'll usually see a slash next to their name on your credit report and you'll see an acronym for whatever the bank might be but now Synchrony Bank is one of those banks that usually lend to people with lower credit scores which is why a lot of the retailers will use them because of course they want as many people to be approved as possible they're not really concerned about your credit score as the retailer because they're not you're not really going to be paying the money back to them you spent the money in the store for the product so the retailer got their money now the bank has to get their money back from you so with synchrony being one of those kind of subprime lenders that are going to lend to people with more riskier credit if you're applying for business credit and of course doing a personal guarantee which does allow you to get business credit faster and in higher amounts than just building up traditional business credit from using vendor accounts and stuff like that when they check your personal credit and they see you have a lot of accounts from retail a light and you see a lot of synchrony banks on there or you really don't have a lot of other higher tier banks on your credit report that can be a red flag to the lender you're trying to get the business credit from and they might deny you or limit how much you get most of the time it's gonna be a denial so when you are building up credit or 
trying to establish credit, you do want to be wary of you know having these banks on your personal credit profile or really how many of them you have on your personal credit file. But you especially don't want to apply for one of these right before trying to do it because that would show that you recently got a high risk lender on your credit report, which means there might be something wrong, even though there might not be. Maybe you have a 700 credit score and you just applied for something like this just because you wanted to get something with the retailer. But just them seeing a bank like this can cause a problem. Now on the business side of things, there's a company called Elon Financial. And Elon Financial is like Synchrony in the sense that they are a lower tier bank and in the sense that they actually provide credit card services for other banks. So basically a bank can reach out to Elon and they can have a entire credit card program implemented and put in place that is ran by Elon and underwritten really by Elon. Now Elon Financial is a subsidiary of US Bank, but again, this is to issue credit cards to those that might be in a more riskier credit profile situation and just because they are connected to US Bank does not mean that you would still be favorable in the eyes of US Bank or some of the higher tier lenders this can still cause a denial if you you know get a card from Elon Financial that's underwritten by Elon Financial before trying to apply at some of those bigger banks because the bigger banks really don't like to see accounts like this reporting or connected to your business and it could delay the amount of time that it takes before you're able to reapply to try to get that funding from the bank that you actually want now before i continue if you guys are getting value from this video make sure you hit the thumbs up so you too can know that you like this video and they can show it to more people so they can also get this information and you can help save somebody else from getting that inquiry on the credit report and still getting denied anyway and not getting the money that they need and subscribe to the channel so you can make sure you get more great information like this to learn how to get funding for your business now another company that operates similarly to elon financial is going to be tcm bank they also have credit card programs that banks can come to them if they don't want to you know implement their own credit card program and they will provide those services and underwriting to that bank and again a lot of times you can find this out when you go to the website of the particular bank a lot of times they might have a similar format or similar cards with similar you know bonuses and interest rate introductory periods you'll see similar features and a similar look to the cards and it's almost like you know the different bank has just stamped or branded their particular logo on that card and offer the same program so tcm again they fall in that lower tier which can also cause issues if you end up applying for this and then going to try to get one of those higher tier bank cards now i'm curious have you guys heard of this before where these banks are providing programs for credit cards to other banks and doing the underwriting have you actually seen these banks before when you try to apply for those cards and usually they're going to be at your you know smaller banks that are going to do something like this or have any of you guys been denied for business credit and you found out later that it was connected to you having a certain account on your credit report that shouldn't have been there if you've had those situations leave them down in the comments i would love to hear about your situation and what happened and i'm sure it will help the others watching this video as well so the best thing that you can do when you are approaching trying to get funding for your business is you want to make sure that you are not out here applying for the wrong accounts at the wrong time the best thing to do is to always go for those higher tier banks which are like tier one they're just it's going to be your your chases your wells fargo's your bank of america's those bigger banks are the ones that you want to try to go to first because they are the ones that usually have the more stringent requirements they don't want to see a certain amount of inquiries they don't want to see certain creditors reporting on your credit report by going to those first you are actually going to increase the amount of funding you can get because you'll be able to get what you need from the more restrictive banks first and then you can go to the banks that don't care as much or that have lower requirements and you increase the amounts you can get because you're able to get more accounts without one blocking the other because not only will that limit the amount that you can get because you would be able to get less accounts but also it can delay the amount of time it takes for you to get the money that you need because now you might have to wait a year or two years or go through a credit repair process to try to get some things off of your credit report in order to try to apply for the bank that you actually actually wanted or needed to get in a credit repair part is just dealing with the inquiries that would show up on your credit report that might stop you from getting one of those more stricter banks now knowing what banks to not apply for first and the best order to go in is great 
but knowing specifically what are some of the best banks to go to to get the most funds is going to also be very helpful in ensuring that you get the most money possible for your business. So if you're not ready to book a call with me down below, then make sure you go to this next video where you learn about five banks that most people overlook, but you can easily get 30K or more from each bank. And I'll see you in the next video.